One horror that I find myself reliving year after year without reprieve is shopping for school supplies. For starters, the second that the back-to-school section pops up in the seasonal area at Target, my kids are frantically looking for the list from their school. Even if we're in a store that's in a different fucking area code. Then, they take said list, get it home, and rewrite it by hand on a piece of paper too small to get it all on one side. Making matters worse, they get too excited while doing it, forget certain items, or the variety of the item that we need. They do all this while making multiple spelling mistakes that distract from trying to read the goddamn thing. I don't need you to translate it, motherfucker. It's already in English, and I own a highlighter. Secondly, I try to put this off until as close to school starting as possible, because the idea of buying crayons, notebooks, and specific colored folders on July 8th seems retarded to me. On average, there are still shelves full of sparklers and whip snaps on clearance in the same field of vision as the backpacks when the shit first goes on sale. School starts after Labor Day around here. Then there's the actual buying experience. I want to give them the chance to be there in case they have the option to pick between different styles of things, but they never shut the fuck up while it's going on. Usually, I'll try to go item by item and price compare the various supplies we need, but it's nearly impossible because every two seconds, one of my daughters is running up with something in their hands and asking, Do we need this, Daddy? Do we need this? You're in third and fifth grade. We do this dance every year. Nothing about how this goes should feel new or uncertain. You know the game plan. I gave you the same warning that I do every year not to do that shit. And I did it at home and again in the parking lot as soon as we got to the fucking store. But here we are again. I'm trying to find the 24-pack of colored pencils because apparently the 12-pack isn't good enough somehow and you're back and forth like dueling auctioneers which causes my anxiety to skyrocket and one time even made me start picking supplies from the wrong fucking grade. My hands are shaking like Jeremy Renner in the Hurt Locker while he's trying to defuse a bomb. But like clockwork, I lose my shit and say something similar to what I say every year when this happens. I can't concentrate on reading with you continually distracting me. And then you ask me a second time at a louder volume if that's a correct thing we need? I was trying to ignore you. The more you divide my attention, the longer this is going to take. And I already warned you out in the car against acting this way. So for the sake of productivity and my sanity, could you please shut the fuck up? which then gets me a few looks from surrounding parents who are in the same boat, thinking the same thing, but are too worried to just be themselves in public like the school counselor's watching. Finally, we get to the front check stands, I pay, and we leave. Then we get home and we put the items in their backpacks for day one preparedness sake so I can be done with it. And it's at that moment that I realize I bought the unsharpened pencils. God damn it! Cue the unnecessary freakout that almost includes tears from my kids that go through this every year but have no memory of past events just like it. You act like I'm not going to take the wrong ones back to the store and get what we really need. How many times have we been through this shit? I have literally never left you hanging in that regard, but every year I relive this shit like I'm Bill Murray in some fucking back-to-school shopping version of Groundhog Day.